Dear Chief Acosta, I was sued by the heirs of Don to recover the possession of a portion of their registered lands. I was in possession of this land, but Don included it in his application for title in 1986. Would the case be dismissed if I am going to raise fraud in the procurement of Don's title? Please enlighten me. Helby. Dear Helby, a collateral attack on the certificate of title is not allowed. This is in consonance with Section 48 of Presidential Decree Number 1529 or the Property Registration Decree which provides that. A certificate of title shall not be subject to collateral attack. It cannot be altered, modified, or cancelled except in a direct proceeding in accordance with law. Raising fraud in your answer is deemed a collateral attack to the title of Don. This finds support in a similar case entitled De Mejilio versus Lumampao, where the Supreme Court is speaking through the Honorable Associate Justice Ramon Paul Hernando stated that. First, the mere prayer by De Mejilio for the reconveyance of the disputed property does not vest the RTC with jurisdiction to grant the same in its favor where the original complaint involves an Acción Publiciana filed by the registered owners themselves. To be clear, the defense invoked by the Miguelio in his answer, particularly that the title was secured by fraud, requires a review of the said title issued in favor of the Mavivas and her co-plaintiffs and entails a determination of an issue that clearly involved a collateral attack on their Torrens title. By ordering the cancellation of the OCT number D4960, the RTC, in effect, allowed the Megilio to collaterally attack OCT number D4960's validity Contrary to Section 48 of PD Number 1529, Ibanez v. Intermediate Appellate Court is instructive on this point. It was erroneous for petitioners to question the Torrens original certificate of title issued to private respondent over lot number 986 in civil case number 671. An ordinary civil action for recovery of possession filed by the registered owner of the said lot by invoking as affirmative defense in their answer the order of the Bureau of Lands, dated July 19, 1978, issued pursuant to the investigatory power of the Director of Lands under Section 91 of Public Land Law, or CA 141 as amended. Such a defense partakes of the nature of collateral attack against a certificate of title brought under the operation of the Torrent System of Registration pursuant to Section 122 of the Land Registration Act. Now, Section 103 of PD 1529. The case law on the matter does not allow a collateral attack on Torrent Certificate of Title on the ground of actual fraud. The rule now finds expression in Section 48 of PD 1529, otherwise known as the Property Registration Decree. Applying the above cited decision in your situation, by raising fraud in your answer to the case filed against you, has the effect of collaterally attacking the title issued to Don, which contravenes the rule that a torrent's title cannot be altered modified or cancelled except in a direct proceeding in accordance with the law. Such action is not allowed pursuant to Section 48 of Presidential Decree Number 1529. Therefore, raising the said issue will not result to the dismissal of the case. What you can do is to file an action for the conveyance. It is a legal and equitable remedy granted to the rightful landowner whose land was wrongfully 
or erroneously registered in the name of another to compel the registered owner to transfer or reconvey the land to him. It seeks the direct reconveyance from dependent of public land unlawfully and breach of trust titled by him on the principle of enforcement of a constructive trust. Such action does not aim to purport to reopen the registration proceedings and set aside the decree of registration, but only to show that the person who secured the registration of a questioned property is not the real honor thereof. We hope that we were able to answer your queries. Please be reminded that this advice is based solely on the facts you have narrated and our appreciation of the same. Our opinion may vary when other facts are changed or elaborated. Tomorrow, we'll look into another question from our viewers and readers of Dear Pau. This is your host, Dr. Presida V. Rueda Acosta, DSD, the Chief Public Attorney of the Republic of the Philippines. Goodbye for now.